All right, we have this Audi car model from the RoboCop movie, and I just created a panel here with the surfaces tools on the SolidWorks. So if you just look at the picture here, we've seen that crease inside the panel, and it goes to smooth surface. So we're gonna try to make this with the bar surfacing tools and as you seen here it just created a hard edge in the center we're going to prevent that from happening so let's try at first we're just gonna go to bar surfacing menu create a planner surface okay and I'm gonna take it rotate and I'm gonna scale it so we do have a point here and I want right here and here and here okay let's just put it back on try to connect these points at every corner here okay now I can just insert an edges easily with the A key like that. Same here. Okay, now that I have this panel here, I'm going to invert a reference from here and select all of that faces. Okay. Now I have this reference to merge my surface on the bar surfacing panel at first I'm going to select this edge and constrain to edge the same on here to an edge this one Let's insert the small edge here and constraint to edge. This one is going to be to the vertex. So I'm going to up here. And this vertex is going to be creased hard edge. So basically, it just constrain it as a tangent surface I didn't need a tangency from here so I'm gonna select all the loop override constraint and select new tangency okay same on here This vertex, hard edge, hard edge here also, and the hard corners, same up here. Alright, so I have the panel here, I just need to be edited a little. So we're going to take these faces and just make a little curvature here.
this line up here is creased Okay. Now let's take a look at the picture. You have decreased like that. I'm gonna just move this up a little. And the crease should be from here. First, just insert an edge. And I'm going to delete this. This is an knob and vent for air net. For air net. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and increase it and extrude like that. Let me just insert an edge here and I'm gonna connect this like that. So that should be creased and this one gonna be inside a little like that now I have this crease here let me just show you again just insert this point and just make a little crease here to make it straight okay so let's just convert and see what we got okay so just converted now and as you see you have a nice and clean panel and it even don't have any distortion or something like that we can go back and change this constraint here if you just want to be tangency I can make this a little tangency from here Override constraint and select tangent to surface. Then I can control how much tangency I want it. That's 0.4 is good. Let's reconstrain it to edge and hit apply. Okay, so as you see, it just created the tangency a little on here. We still have the creasing. Nothing just gonna, nothing has changed it, but we just have a nice clean surface here. So you're gonna see the difference between the two surface. So 
that the crease goes up into the smooth surface the wrong way here and in the other side you have a nice clean surface <laughs>